blocker Bryant Smith a great senior leader and Chris Porter the SEC player of the year. Not a lot of scoring up front and just two starters in the front court tonight for Ohio State Jason Singleton and Ken Johnson. It'll be Brian Brown the freshman with Red and Penn in the backcourt. Brown didn't start at all during the regular season or in the Big Ten tournament but he started all three games now in the NCAA. Tim Higgins a veteran official the lead official with Lonnie Dixon and Dick Cartmel. Auburn and White Ohio State in red Johnson and NJ jump it's controlled by Johnson of Ohio State and the Auburn Tigers show McDonough go minute me. Scrooney Penn opens with Pullman guarding him. Michael Red shot off on the drive by Smith an excellent defender. Lost along the baseline last touch by Auburn as Singleton had it knocked away. Jim O'Brien has turned the Ohio State program around in just two seasons. Eight wins last year. This season, 25 and 8. Five consecutive losing seasons. Now they're in the Sweet 16. Part of the reason the ability with these two, Penn and Red. They've got to score big tonight, Sean. A little flare screen. Brown almost traveled. Shot clock at two. And a jumper rattles in for Michael Red. A three pointer to start the game for Ohio State. And Ohio State with the man to man, you'll see some zone this evening. Pullman great without the ball. A lot of motion, a lot of screens by Auburn. Singleton ran out aggressively on Pullman and hustled to get back on Porter. And Bryant Smith hits a nice fadeaway jumper. The senior from Huntsville. Sean, they do a great job of spreading to open up a passing lane. Brown, wide pass. Freshman a little bit out of control. The Auburn coach is Cliff Ellis. He's won 96 games faster than any coach in Tiger history. This is his first trip to the NCAA with the Auburn Tigers. They have been in the NIT three of his first four years. He's never been the Elite Eight as a coach. South Alabama, Clemson, or at Auburn. Porter lost it. Out of bounds. Last touch by Auburn. We talked about the turnaround of Ohio State. Auburn similarly improved. 16 wins last year. 29 and three this year. Ohio State with the biggest turnaround in school and Big Ten history. Plus 17 wins over a year ago. And you saw the dead ball situation. Saw him. We'll see a lot of pressing. They trap occasionally and then sprint back. They can tee it up. They read who has the ball and then they trap aggressively. Red, a sophomore from Columbus. He led the Big Ten in scoring last year as a freshman. He was their only big scoring threat. Hasn't had to carry as much of the load. Scooney Penn intercepted the long outlet pass. And Ferris Tenji, I think he got bumped on the release. Porter bumped Penn, but it's a play on. Scooney missed the three. He has 79 threes this year. That's the single season Ohio State record. Auburn great at getting down early to get inside position or this guy with the oh my goodness. Well, he got smacked, didn't he? Oh, in Maybury, somebody would be in the can. Well, it looked like Coleman got absolutely leveled. And there was no whistle for a foul, just the whistle for the ball going out of bounds. Well, they get down early and uh, teasing him about the name Opie, his ability to get free, so key for this team. At least in the first two minutes, it seems they're going to let them play on here in red. Strips Coleman. Great use of the dribble here. Smith, a terrific defender, usually draws the best player. Ryan Brown pulls it out. The freshman from Brooklyn, New York, out of Bishop Laughlin High School. Now Singleton with Porter right on him. Jump hook for Ken Johnson. Well designed play. A little screen away, and he's got some offensive things. He's got a rolling hook, jump hook. Obviously, the turnaround jumper. Good dish. And Njai fouled on a reach in. Off the pass from Doc Robinson. All of a sudden, a little screen away here. Gets the big guy to the block. He can turn. We mentioned the rolling hook. Little touch, finesse. But a piano player should have touch. Mm -hmm. And Johnson is an excellent piano player. Singleton called for the foul his first. So here's Mamadou Njai, the junior from Dakar, Senegal. Missing the first free throw. Key to see here. He gets the basketball. He runs the floor very well. Sean got 65% from the free throw line. Not a bad touch. 
Cliff didn't like some of the shots he took in Porter in the last game. And you see how they control that aspect. Robin's concerned getting more from its inside game. Cliff Ellis says the perimeter play's been great, but we've been relying too much on it in the first two rounds. We need more inside, and they should be able to get it with the talent they have inside. And Brown, another guy that can dribble, penetrate as they put Red and Scooney off the basketball. Brown with Robinson guarding him. Johnson wants to go to work on Njai. The shot short. Brown, the guard, snuck into a putback. And Porter rebounded. Big snatch. And that's what he does. He spreads those legs. There's the screen down and the early offense on Pullman. To Brian Smith. To Robinson. A rare miss by an Auburn guard in the tournament. Smith had the rebound and was stripped. Red leading the break. Red, smooth. Red goes right or left. Nice understanding. He had the lane filled on his left. Brought the ball to the middle. Able to come back with that lefty. Want to remind those of you expecting to see the Iowa-Yukon game. We'll get you out to the West Region in Phoenix for the tip time. Now at 10.27 Eastern. Holman. Well, he's starting out a bit colder than usual. Auburn has struggled in the first 10 minutes in each of the first two rounds against Winthrop in particular in the first round. Offensive foul call and Jason Singleton. Got the other end with Pullman. What they're doing is making him catch it a little further out. So you can see Ohio State's influenced by what they've seen in tape. Jim O'Brien didn't like the foul call. That's two quickies on Jason Singleton. Timeout in Knoxville. Assistant does a great job helping Cliff Ellis and the staff. Meanwhile, Jason Singleton with two quick fouls, and that could be a factor. Hold on, Samovich has come in. And we say it could be a factor because Singleton was matching up with Porter, and Jim O'Brien said yesterday, Bill, he's every bit as good an athlete as Porter. He can stay with him athletically. It's just Porter has a little size in it. And they may switch to the 2 3 zone a little bit for that reason, Sean. And Penn with a great save on that deflection earlier. And they, they don't have the flexibility up front that he would like. He being Jim O'Brien. George Reese is also checked in, playing forward number 40 for Ohio State. Pullman another miss. And that one goes over the backboard. And the ball goes over to Ohio State. Again, we remind those of you expecting Iowa and UConn will get you there in time for the tip at 10.27 Eastern Time. A little bit later than originally planned because of the length of the thrilling Gonzaga victory over Florida. Mm, was that something? How the end of that one? Little layup late. Florida with a chance at the other end, didn't knock it down. A little post pass to Red. He's tucked in around. Yeah. Jai with some hops. And Jai plays off the basketball, Sean, and has a terrific read on it. And that's where shot blockers salivate. And he broke Charles Barkley's career block shot record at Auburn. And Jai now has 173. In his career, 75 this year, that's the single season school record. Reese likes to bang. Enjoy the rebound. Guards off to a slow shooting start for Robert and Coleman and Robinson shooting a combined 60% in the tournament. They pounded inside in quarter. Scored immediately with Singleton out of the game. And Red answers with the banker. A big smooch a row in the open floor. But Doc Robinson now getting in the flow on the other end with penetration. And they got to make sure they get back and identify. Robinson guarded by Penn. And Jai and Johnson. Similar players. Shot blockers. Neither one puts up big numbers. In terms of points. Shot clock at 10. Njai desperate to get rid of it. Shot clock at two. Robinson has to let it fly. Smith the offensive rebound. And he was fouled on the way back up. So the uh, ability to offensive rebound. Uh, Jimmy O'Brien said to both of us, it reminds him of the old Georgetown teams. Their offense starts after they shoot the ball. And that shot up there, and they just attacked the 10. And that was his concern. Auburn averages just under 20 offensive rebounds per game. Part of that is because they shoot just 43 percent. Mm -hmm. So they can get all over the glass. 
Ohio State only about 13 offensive rebounds a game, but they shoot 50%, so there are fewer misses at the offensive end to go chase. Smith made the first free throw. Get online tomorrow, 3 Eastern, chat with Clark Kellogg. Not all the action from the tournament, just log on to cbs.sportsline.com on America Online under keyword CBS Sportsline. You'll be chatting with one of the nicest people we know. A Clark sweetheart. Kellogg. Ohio State grad, I might add, mm -hmm. as well. Here's the concern, I think, of your own mind. Press and let Penn and Red become better players so they get it and back off. They're not going to gamble with them in the open floor. 9-7 Ohio State. This is the first meeting ever in basketball between these two schools. Boban Sabovic, Yugoslavian, missed his first shot, and Njai took it down. Smith hits the elbow jumper and Auburn is back even at nine apiece. Six and a half minutes gone by in Knoxville. Penn a little bit too fast perhaps when he shot that shot. Auburn a chance to take the lead. Robinson a three. That's their delay. They push it down with the dribble and Doc steps out of the office. Oh. They do have a lot of weapons, and Jimmy O'Brien's concern is run back, but come back out and make sure you identify the quick 20 to get his guys organized. But as you run back, you see all the red shirts go down in, and this doctor fills a prescription <laughs> from deep. 7-0 run over the last minute and a half now for Auburn. Tigers up by three. He's in for Ohio State out of the timeout. Wearing number 33. Token pressure from Auburn. So deep, Sean. They can be aggressive on both ends of the floor, Auburn. Sanderson, first time he touched it, almost turned it over. Smith had to go off his knee. Good to help by Smith when you think of He's got Red still sniffing around to help. A little pick and roll. Reese, tough shot. Sanderson, just a short one. Ooh, that's a little yoke. Got to convert. Sanderson, a starter through the entire season except the NCAA tournament. We're done with the three guard look in the three games in the NCAA. And there's a bad pass by Porter. Great job by Reese fighting Enjai in the post. And you can't beat this opportunity. Uh, we talked about the offensive rebounding of Auburn. Great position. And John would like that one over. And the other end, a good counter by Reese. So still 12 to 9 Auburn with 12 and a half left in the first half. Sean McDonough, Bill Raftery, Michelle Tafoya. Tonight's game produced by Bob Monsbach, directed by Mike Arnold. Savovich, bounce to Sanderson. Penn with Coleman right on him. Tough shot. Sanderson might have gotten away with a push off. Still can't get a hoop. Did everything right that trip, but Coleman with a great job on Penn. Reggie Sharp just in the action for Auburn. Had his pass deflected out of bounds. He's a guard number three, and Adrian Chiliest, senior forward, is in, wearing 42 for the Tigers. Here's Chiliest. Here's Coleman. He just can't rev it up after his career high performance in round two against Oklahoma State when he had 28. Great luck by Red. Oh, Reese with the rest. Reese's pieces down under there. And nobody guarded because everybody paid attention to Michael Red. Sean Coleman is stepping out further and further. So you can see the recognition of Ohio State defensively. And he's 0 for 4 from the field. He's been shooting 60% from the floor in the tournament. Well, Michael Red can play with the ball or without it here. A nice looking dish. Reese centers and finishes. Overs and Auburn continues with that motion offense. Let's see a little zone out of the gate here by Jim O'Brien in Ohio State. More subs for Auburn. Jay Hurd, a guard number 12, is in. Mac McGadney, 31, coming along the right side of the lane at the moment. Reggie Sharp to Jay Hurd. Entirely substitute backward right now. Johnson at the rebound, and he was fouled. Heard one of those guys that comes in and shakes him up, gives it a little energy on the rebound. Uh, they give away, and right away they get their pressure set. 
Foul on Hurd, his first and the team's first. First foul call against Auburn, nearly nine minutes in. And Sean, no pen on the floor. Let's see if they, they step up the pressure without Stooney on the floor. Brown found Red. Red is seven points, three rebounds, an assist and a steal already. Three for five from the floor. Sabovich. That's a two. I have to look at the Michigan game today uh, during the tournament, Big Ten tournament. He started shooting the ball well. Little things we didn't see last week, a confidence in his game, and at that time, pretty good drill. Adrian Chilius trying to back in, but he started shuffling his feet before he dribbled. That's the fifth turnover by Auburn. Saturday on CBS, martial arts superstar Sam Hung and Arsenio Hall are kicking the fun back into Saturday night. Join the LAPD's dream team in all new martial law Saturday on CBS. Damian Fishback in for Auburn. Number 23. A very deep Auburn team, as you can tell already. They have 11 players who average 9.4 minutes or more. And they rotate him in and out with Scooney back in the game. They opted not to press full. And missed the three point try. The rebound got tipped to Fishback. Ahead of Doc Robinson just back in. He collides with Savovich. A travel call. Not a bad play. Contribute any way you can. Get back and get in position. I mentioned Penn on the floor. They trap and then get back. But this is a terrific reaction. You must get back and tag a guy. Deflection by Hurd. And the steal. The pressure yields something. Fishback stepped into a three. He might have traveled before shooting. Fishback has that strange release. Takes it way back behind his head. You're, you're, could you see, are you suggesting you can block it? Or no. It just takes a long time to deliver. Uh, a little, I could, certainly couldn't block it. Yes, it does take a while to deliver. Just a long wind up. And there's Brown in the lane, scoring for Ohio State, his first bucket. And that's what he brings to the floor, too. The ability to penetrate, let Scooney play off the ball. Mac McGadney rattles home a two from just inside the line. He's a freshman from Mobile. 15 14, Ohio State, more than midway through the first half. Winner to the Elite Eight to meet St. John's, a winner here earlier tonight over Maryland. Reese Savovich, 12 to shoot. Brown had it blocked by Njai. Fishback ahead to Robinson. Now look at the big guy on the floor. He gets pushed out, Njai. There's Fishback with that long delivery, but that time it's good from three. Well, it's a special delivery to the hearts of Auburn. He began again. He thinks offense. He loves that jumper as well, Fishback. High pass handled by Spoonie Penn. Robin folks thought he walked. Penn to Brown. Brown was excellent against Detroit. Gave him nine points. Johnson the jump hook over in Jai and Johnson called for a foul. His first. The team fourth. Well, running teams, and particularly Auburn, it starts with great defense. If you can block shots and keep them in play, Njai with that tremendous facility, and then the kickback, the pressure of the dribble, and Fishback with that long. And Sean McDonough isn't crazy about it. Delivery. Oh, hey, if it works, <laughs> I'm all for it. Yeah, he's gonna, I've seen your it. golf swing. Uh, well, that's true. Well, it doesn't in work. Of a long delivery, and it doesn't work. Yeah, that's not a good analogy. Robinson bouncing down the lane. Njai foul and a reach in by Scooney Penn. First foul on Penn, fifth on the team. Njai from Senegal played soccer growing up. This is just his fourth year playing basketball. He's 23 years old. There's the two highest single season shot block totals in Auburn history. Yeah, and one of the assistants, Michael Plant, was going to bring him to Maine. Mm -hmm. got University the, uh, of Maine. Brought, the, brought him down here, and uh, nice addition to this program. Rounds him out defensively. They want a three-second call, and they finally get it. They should have kicked it and ran out. You don't see that called very often anymore, the no. three-second violation. They usually can park it all in there. You're Winnebago, and <laughs> tee it up. Uh, no tickets allowed. 
Left inbound into the corner to Deshaun Coleman, seeing his first action of the NCAA tournament. The senior from Toledo, Ohio, has been bothered by strep throat. Last weekend in Indianapolis had a temperature as high as 103, didn't play at all. He's an excellent three-point shooter, but his first shot of the tournament is an air ball. He's their all-time leader in three-pointers made, but not that time. Timeout. Auburn by two.